Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix delete is not allowed on the current boot, system, page file, crash dump or hibernate volume. This issue often pops up when you're trying to delete or format a drive that's being used by Windows for essential system processes. But today I'm going to show you how to fix it. Let's get started. First, let's open the disk management tool. Right click on the start menu and select disk management. This will open up a list of all the drives and partitions on your PC. Look for the drive or partition that you're trying to delete or format. The error message usually happens when you're trying to delete the system partition. The page file or a drive used for hibernation. These volumes are essential for your system to run. So Windows won't let you delete them. One common reason for this error is the hibernation file. To disable it, open command prompt as an administrator. To do that, search for CMD in the start menu. Right click on it and select run as administrator. In the command prompt window, type the following command and hit enter. Power CFG space dash H space off. This will disable the hibernation feature and remove the hibernation file, which can be taking up space on your drive. After doing this, try deleting the partition again. If it works, great. If not, let's move on to the next step. Another reason you may get this error is that the page file or virtual memory is located on the drive you're trying to delete. Let's change that. Open the control panel and go to System and Security and then System. On the left, click on Advanced System Settings. Under the Advanced tab, click on the Settings button in the Performance section. In the Performance Options window, go to the Advanced tab and click on Change under Virtual Memory. Uncheck Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. Now select the drive you want to delete, choose No Paging File, and click Set. Click OK, and restart your PC to apply the changes. Once your PC has restarted, open Disk Management again. Now try deleting or formatting the partition that was giving you the error. It should work without any issues. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And click on that notification bell to never miss an update.